Okay, pan sear scallops. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to do it with a Provencal relish. Okay, take a look at these ingredients, guys. They're green onions. This is parsley. Let's do this real quickly. Capers, some anchovy, some garlic, some chopped garlic, a little bit of tomato paste. This is a combination of some finely chopped shallot and some white onion. Obviously, we need to, to, to use some nice olives. There's some Kalamata olives. There's some actually some Sicilian olives. There's a variety of different olives in this particular blend. And then we have some micro basil. We're lucky to have that. We're going to use that as well. This is some thyme. That's, these are tomatoes. Take a look at these tomatoes. These have been chopped. These are fresh tomatoes peeled so that there's no skin and also seeded. This is important because we're making a relish and we don't want people having skin in their teeth. Take a look at this. This is freshly ground black pepper with a Morrison pestle. It's important. We're going to put a crust on the scallops and that's an important thing. Kosher salt, olive oil. This is extra virgin olive oil, the good stuff. This is extra light olive oil. This is going to be able to take a lot of heat and that's how we're going to sear these things. And in a minute we're going to get started. Okay, the first, the first part of this thing is to season the oil. These pieces of garlic are actually going to be discarded, but take a look at what's going on here. We're, we're actually taking that olive oil. This is a, a combination of both extra light and uh, extra virgin. We're going to season the oil a little bit here, and they're going to come out. Next, the shallots and the white onion goes in. We're going to melt, we're going to actually just soften these. We're not going to cook them too hard. This is the anchovy, the one anchovy, and it's going to go in and it will melt away, guys. Believe me, you will not taste fish. You will not taste anything too strong. It's important that it goes in. It's going to help develop a really deep flavor. It actually adds some saltiness and it actually adds a little bit of sweetness and some for lucky. A little bit. Take a look at that. Just a little dash of tomato paste. And that's going to go in and that's also only to help develop flavor in the oil. Remember, this is not a big thick sauce. This is a Provencal relish. And so now we started to, we, we flavored that oil with three really important ingredients. And that's, that's the basis of it. It's gonna start to soften up a little. And now we're gonna add the garlic. These are crushed, these are crushed. It's a crushed garlic or chopped garlic that's pretty fine. And take a look at this. Now that we have all that other ingredients in there, we really can't burn the garlic, and that's important. We want these to cook slowly. This, this process is, is a uh, layering process. Now, some tomato fillets. Not all of them. We're going to put those in now. Again, we need a little moisture. We're going to let that, let that, let that combine. I actually think maybe we're going to give it a little more squirt of oil. Don't get nervous. This is a Provencal dish. They use a lot of olive oil, guys. Now we're going to let this go. First phase. This is first phase of the relish. Okay, we're back. Seasoning the scallops. Kosher salt. Make sure these scallops are dry, guys. Really dry. Any moisture is going to stop them from getting that nice dark caramelized color. Turn them over. We're going to salt both sides. Plenty of salt. You know, the salt helps bring out the sugar too. Now, some, some nicely fresh, I th talked about the fresh ground black pepper. It's important. A lot of people don't like to use black pepper with seafood. I think with a scallop, it's, you get a pass. Do both sides. Make sure you season these things well. I mean, they're going to make they're going to make all the difference. They'll be sweeter, actually much sweeter, and a lot more flavor. This is simple, simple preparation. Let's go, guys. Let's go to the pan. Hopefully, oh yeah, there's the sound we want. We want that really super hot. This is a it's a hybrid pan. This is not your normal. Um, non-stick. This, this pan can take some heat, guys. This is extra light olive oil as well. We're going to sear this side really hard. Then we're going to turn them, finish the relish, and put this thing together. See you in a minute. 
All right, we're back. Second batch of ingredients, guys. Here we go. Capers, green onions, the olive mixture, and now we're gonna do a little deglaze. I put the second batch of the tomatoes in. A little bit of white wine. We're gonna do a little bit of an emulsification here, and, it's, and there's actually gonna be a little bit of butter. That goes against the rules of Provencal a little bit, but you know we wanna make things taste good. Over here, we already got the scallop started. I don't know if my cameraman can get this, but the scallops are really are going great. We got one side that's 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 seared. We're going to add a little bit of butter because we're going to actually melt some butter, and we're going to baste the second side. Let me just grab a here it on. Let's turn these around. Oh my God! Look at these. Look at that sear. Oh my God! That's great. So again, patience paid off again. All right, a little bit of butter, not a lot. I mean, you know, it's seafood. Seafood and butter, can't go wrong. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna let these finish. I'm not gonna crowd, crowd them up. We're gonna let them finish searing at their own pace here. Let's get back to the relish. Relish smells amazing. Really, really good. You guys, you've got to remember these are all Mediterranean flavors. A little bit of, a little bit of lemon. Got wine reduced now, and I can't help it, but I got to put a couple of pieces of butter in here, guys. I'm gonna emulsify this and plate it up in a minute. See you just in a minute. All right, let's plate it up, guys. Take a look at this. This is the relish. Let me tell you, you can put this on anything; it would taste good. I'm just gonna, you know, spread out a little bit here, you know, amongst this. This is a little appetizer dish. Put a couple of beautiful, let's put three on here. I'm gonna try one. These are arugula sprouts. I mean, they're outstanding. They're perfect for a little appetizer. Add a little, little spice. Finish it with a few fresh herbs. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of this flavored oil. Just drizzle it across here. That oil has so much flavor in it. And like always, I'm gonna cut one, and I'm gonna try a little piece, because I can't hardly even help myself. Wow, guys. The flavor of all those. Man, is that, that is a killer appetizer. Take another look at this, guys. That's a medium to medium rare. This is th these things you can eat raw. This this combination of flavors is outstanding. You gotta try it. You really gotta make this dish. To the next video. Later, guys.